Hello and welcome to the Pittsburgh City Council regular meeting of Tuesday, December 10th, 2019. My name is Michael Wentz and with us today is Connor Litzenberger, our sign language interpreter. The following is a list of legislation to be introduced by Pittsburgh City Council. Councilman Reverend Ricky Burgess presents Bill 2381, resolution authorizing pursuant to Chapter 210 of the City Code, the Mayor and the Director of the Office of Management and Budget to accept a donation from the Heinz Endowment of $10,000 to assist the City Office of the Mayor with membership to the Gun Safety Consortium. Bill 2382, resolution providing for agreements and contracts or the existing agreements or contracts with neighborhood allies for the purpose of providing neighborhood and community development services and providing for the payment at a cost thereof not to exceed $140,000. Bill 2383, ordinance amending and supplementing the Pittsburgh Code of Ordinances, Title I, Administrative, Article 11, Human Resources, Chapter 192, Pensions, Municipal Benefit Plan Number 2, Section 192.26, Pension Allowance by adding 192.26P, eliminating the Social Security offset for non-union employee members who are elected officials. Bill 2384, resolution authorizing the mayor and the director of the Department of City Planning to enter into a contract and hire a consultant as a result of an ongoing RFP process to develop a master plan for Fort Pitt Park. The park master plan should be executed for a sum not to exceed $75,000. Councilwoman Deborah Gross presents Bill 2385, resolution providing for an agreement or contract with the Green Building Alliance for the purposes of incorporating green building practices into development review processes and provide for the payment at a cost thereof not to exceed $35,000. Councilwoman Darlene Harris presents Bill 2396, resolution further amending and supplementing Resolution 855 of 2011, adopting and approving 2012 capital budget by transferring a total of $33,372.46 within District 1 neighborhood needs to Allegheny West, $5,000, Historic Town Development Court, $10,000, Northside Leadership Conference, $12,000, Spring Hill Civic Lead, $5,500, and Public Safety AEDs, $872.46. Bill 2397, Resolution Further Amending Resolution 549 of 2012, entitled Providing for an Agreement or Use of Agreements, Contracts or Existing Contracts, and for the Purchase of Materials, Supplies, Equipment, and or Services for City Council Neighborhood Needs Program and providing for the payment of the cost thereof by transferring $33,372.46 remaining within District 1 Neighborhood Needs to new projects and renaming existing projects. Councilman Corey O'Connor presents Bill 2386, Resolution Authorizing a Cooperation Agreement or agreements providing for the transfer of funds not to exceed $7,432,971 to the City of Pittsburgh Equipment Leasing Authority for the purchase and leasing of vehicles, equipment and accessories for the use by the City of Pittsburgh Departments and Authorities and to extend the co cooperation agreement to accommodate lease agreements for a seven and five year lease period to, to provide for vehicles for the Bureau of Fire. Bill 2387, resolution approving execution of a contract for disposition between the URA and the Housing Authority for the sale of block 124J lots 287, 290, 
291, 293, and 295 in the 12th Ward of City of Pittsburgh, Council District 9. Bill 2388, resolution approving the execution of a contract for deposition between the URA and the Housing Authority for the sale of Block 124J, Lots 295 and 322 in the 12th Ward of City of Pittsburgh, Council District 9. Bill 2389, Resolution further amending and supplementing resolution number 855 of 2011 entitled Adopting and Approving the 2012 Capital Budget and 2012 through 2017 Capital Improvement Program by transferring and remaining $162,694.25 from the completed Beechwood Boulevard Browns Hill Road project to the Bob O'Connor Golf Clubhouse. Councilwoman Teresa Kale Smith presents Bill 2390, resolution authorizing the transfer by the City of Pittsburgh to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Department of Transfer, certain public right of way on certain property of the fourth ward of the City of Pittsburgh in cooperation with a PennDOT construction project. Bill 2391, resolution authorizing the acceptance by the City of Pittsburgh to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania from the Department of Transportation of certain dedicated public right of way on certain property of the 15th Ward of the City of Pittsburgh in cooperation with the PennDOT construction project. Bill 2392, resolution providing for a contract or the use of existing contracts or agreements providing for the design, repairs, maintenance, improvements, emergencies and or the purchase of materials, equipment and supplies in connection with the construction of the West Ohio Street Bridge project and providing for a reimbursement agreement or agreements with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Department of Transportation and necessary utilities and providing for the payment of the cost thereof not to exceed $7,703,000 $986.30. Bill 2393, resolution amending and supplementing resolution number 98 of 2018 to account for bid accepted that was higher than originally anticipated and for additional sources of funding, but not to exceed $741,249. Bill 2398, Resolution further amending resolution number 863 of 2018 by amending various city council CDBG unspecified local option line items and authorizing the subsequent agreement or agreements for operation, administrative expenses, maintenance, purchase of equipment and or rehabilitation of neighborhood facilities on behalf of the residents of the city of Pittsburgh. Councilwoman Erica Strausberger presents Bill 2395, resolution authorizing the mayor and the city controller to countersign a warrant in favor of Motorola Solutions Incorporated for the renewal of the annual maintenance and support agreement for Premier MDC server and client licenses and 24-7 technical support for public safety mobile wireless communication software at a sum not to exceed $46,280 and payable from the Department of Innovation and Performance. This concludes the reading for today, Tuesday, December 10th, 2019. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Pittsburgh City Council's Cablecast meeting, regular meeting, on Tuesday, December 10th. Will the clerk please call the roll? Reverend Burgess, Mr. Coghill. Here. Ms. Gross, Mrs. Harris. Here. Mr. Lavelle, Mr. O'Connor. Here. Mrs. Kel Smith. Here. Ms. Strasberger. Here. Five members present. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. 
pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our next order of business is proclamations. We have one from Councilwoman Harris. Councilwoman Harris, would you please come forward? And I'll take a moment to mention that Council uh, President Krause is um, out ill today, so I'm filling in for him as Council President Pro Tem. Good morning, Councilwoman. Good morning. Okay, Luke Beerbach, would you come up, please, and bring your family with you? Bring your family with you. Okay, Luke has done a, a special uh, um, senior project, and uh, I don't know, I guess they didn't bring the pictures in so that I could show you the before and after. So, Bird, if you have the pictures back there, please bring them out. And this proclamation reads, the veteran, whereas the Veterans Honor Roll in the 24th Ward was forged to honor the World War II veterans from the area, both living and deceased. And due to the unavoidable factor of time and the weather, and the condition of the memorial was unsuitable. But thanks to the help of Luke Bierbach, the memorial is now restored to its rightful condition. And whereas Luke attends school at Seneca Valley Senior High School, he is a defensive end on the Seneca Valley football team, and he has played football since seventh grade. He has performed community service with both a team and on his own. And whereas on October 19, 2019, Luke Bierbach transformed a neglected war memorial uh, into a beautiful reminder of the true cost of freedom, honoring both the veterans who paid the ultimate price and those veterans that are still living. And whereas, it is rare to come across such a determined young man like Luke. His hard work, determination, and drive to support the veterans and the surrounding Spring Hill neighborhood is unmatched. And now, therefore, be it resolved that the Pittsburgh City Council does hereby recognize and honor Luke Bierbach for his magnificent and unselfish act of cleaning and restoring the World War II monument and improving the condition of the surrounding area in the 24th Ward. And be it further resolved that the Council of the City of Pittsburgh does hereby declare December 9, 2019, to be Luke Bierbach Day in Luke Bierbach Veterans Appreciation Day in the city of Pittsburgh. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? second? All in favor? Aye. Those Aye. Opposed? Proclamation approved. Congratulations. And thank you for your work. Uh, thank you all so much for this. Uh, I really didn't expect to get this much recognition as I have. Um, what started out as just a normal senior project actually became so much more important to me. And I'm really glad that I was able to show my emotions and show my respect to the veterans that were so courageous and did so much for us. And I was really happy with how it came out. Thank you.
Whoever they can't see, stand up. I'm up here. family always likes to have these. I have to say too, when he seen how the memorial was, he went out to Home Depot and asked them if they would give him some things. And they did, they gave him, I, I, there were so many things that they gave him to use, uh, to fix the cracks in it, uh, little bushes, flowers, uh, uh, mulch. Um, it was incredible. So I just want to put a thank you out there to Home Depot also and uh, look for um, going out and asking for everything to make it look nice. So thank you. Thank you, thank you Councilwoman. Congratulations and thank you for your work. The next order of business is public comment. Anyone wishing to comment before City Council has three minutes to speak. Please give your name and neighborhood for the record. The green light will indicate the start of your three minutes. When the yellow light comes on, you have one minute to summarize. And when the red light comes on, your time is up. I would like to remind everyone that the rules of council are, state that comment is limited to matters of concern, official actions, or deliberations, which are or may be before City Council. Profanity will not be permitted, and, other, and order will be maintained at all times. Will the first speaker please come to the podium? Oh, good morning, Ralph. Good morning, Madam Chair, members of Council. My name is Ralph Socorro. I live at 1908 Shelley Drive in the Banksville section of the City District 2. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> uh, I'm here today to speak on a matter concerning our pension funds. Uh, specifically, I sit on the Comprehensive Municipal Pension Trust Fund Board. Although I'm not speaking on their behalf, I'm speaking as simply a member. In 2010, this body dedicated 30 years of revenue to fund uh, additional money into our uh, pension funds, helping to shore it up. Uh, that has done very well for this pension fund. We've continued to grow and move in a positive direction. But that has been a number of years now, nine, almost 10 years now that we've done that. I think that this council should consider looking at adding additional years to again increase our funding level and ag again increase the strength of our pension fund for all of our active employees as well as our pensioners that are drawing pensions to this day. And I would ask that, that you all throughout the next year consider a, a piece of legislation that would add additional years, possibly 10 years, maybe even more uh, of dedicated revenue to our pension fund. And uh, I wish you all a happy holidays. Have a good thank day. You. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph, and thank you for all you do for the city. Will the next speaker please come to the podium? Good morning, Ms. Brown. Good morning. My and name is Yvonne F. Brown. I live in the Hill District. Um, there's some young ladies here that's in college and they're watching how you act. So I hope you be on your best behaviors today. <laughs> I'm only messing with them. But anyway, I'm in a good, good mood. But I'm, I'm kind of sad, too, because John L. Ford Sr., he died. He's age, he was age 73, and he was a black historian. He had at uh, one time worked at Pitt. But I was watching TV once, and my grandchildren had on, you know, that paranormal stuff. And in, in it, it had where there was uh, a white woman with a black man. They were young. But any time he went to touch her, stuff would happen in the house. So they went and they said they got John L. Ford. And he came, he looked up the history, and what it was is that these two sisters who were slave, the uh, slave owners had given them that home but they're not used to white and black dealing and like their spirits in the house. Now you may not believe it, but I've seen some things with spirits, you know, there's good and bad spirits. But I wanted to say that 
it was Martin Luther King's birthday, and he had uh, uh, something down at August Wilson's. He had shackles, because he, 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 he also traveled in Africa. He had shackles that the babies, that little children wore, like the slaves, uh, the babies wore. He had pieces of the, the, the all, all kind of artifacts from Africa, statues. But not only that, is um, um, there was Dr. Jeremiah Wright was there. Dr. Jeremiah Wright, that's the one with, with um, Obama, and he left the church. But Dr. Jeremiah Wright was also a doctor. Dr. Jeremiah Wright was uh, Mar um, LBJ's doctor. The, he had a bad heart. So whenever he spoke, he would be up under the podium with him. So not only did I learn about, uh, from John Ford, I also learned about Jeremiah Wright, who was also a doctor and a reverend. Now when he taught, when he preached, he taught, and they, he got a, a bum deal when he said the part about like, God damn America. But that was the very last thing he had said. He had did a speech and he had said, if we're running around killing, if the United States is doing wrong, he says, we're talking about God blessed America. He said, God damn America. Thank you. You have a nice day, everybody. Thank you, Ms. Brown. Next speaker, please. Next speaker, please. Seeing no further speakers, we'll move on to the presentation of papers. Councilman Burgess, Chair of Finance and Law. Good morning, Madam Good morning, President Reverend. Bertram. I better put my glasses on. <laughs> Councilman Reverend Burgess presents Bill Number 2381, Resolution Authorizing, pursuant to Chapter 210 of the City Code, the Mayor and Director of the Office of Management and Budget to accept a donation from the Hines Endowments for $10,000 to assist the City and Office of the Mayor with membership to the Gun Safety Consortium. Bill Number 2382, Resolution Providing for Agreement with Neighborhood Allies for the Purpose of Providing Neighborhood and Community Development Services and providing for the payment of the cost not to exceed $140,000. Bill number 2383, ordinance amending the supplement in the Pittsburgh Code of Ordinances, Title I, Administrative Article 11, Human Resources, Chapter 192, Pensions, Men Municipal Benefit Plan Number 2, Section 19226, Pension Allowance by adding 19226P, eliminating the Social Security offset for non-union employee members who are elected officials. Bill number 2384, resolution authorizing the mayor and the director of the Department of City Planning to enter into a contract and hire consultant, LaQuantra Bunchy, associates to develop a master plan for Fort Pitt Park. The park master plan shall, shall be ex executed for a sum, not to exceed $45,000. Bill number 2399, Resolution authorizing the mayor and director of the Department of City Planning to enter into an agreement with Open Box Design, LLC, to assist the city to plan and develop a community visioning study with the Department of City Planning in the East Hills and Lincoln Lemington Belmar communities and provide for the payment at a cost not to exceed $200,000. Thank you. Councilman, you have a waiver, Roy? Yes, thank you very much. Um, given this is the end of our, getting close to the end of our year, um, a number of these bills we have to uh, dispose of quickly. So I make a motion that bills 2381, 2382, 2383, 2384, and 2399 um, that we waive the rules of council so that they can appear on tomorrow's standing committee's meeting. There's a motion. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The bills, thank you. So the bills will appear tomorrow on tomorrow's standing committee um, agenda meeting. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you. Um, Councilman Coghill, Chair of Urban Recreation. No new papers, Madam President. No new papers. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Councilman Coghill. Councilwoman Gross, Councilman Coghill for Councilwoman Gross for the uh, Land Use and Economic Development Committee. Thank you, Councilman. Councilwoman Gross presents Bill number 2385, 
Resolution providing for an agreement with Green Building Alliance for the purposes of incorporating green building practices into development review processes and provide for the payment of the cost not to exceed $35,000. Bill number 2400, resolution further amending resolution number 797 in order to transfer $250,000 from council community funds to the URA's microfinance program. Bill number 2401, resolution further amending resolution number 863 in order to transfer a project from Domi to planning. Thank you. And Councilman, we also have a waiver of rule eight. This is this time of year. Everyone's trying to get their bills um, in and approved. Could you make the motion for Councilwoman Gross? Yes, motion to waive Rule 8 on all three bills. On Second. bills uh, 2385, 2400, and 2401, correct? Correct. Okay, thank you, Councilman. Is there, there's a motion, there's a second. All in favor? Aye. The bills will appear tomorrow also on the Standing Committee agenda. Uh, Councilwoman Harris, Chair of Human Resources. Good morning, thank Councilwoman. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Councilwoman. Good morning. Councilwoman Harris presents bill number 2396, resolution further amending and supplementing resolution number 855 by transferring a total of $33,372.46 within District 1 neighborhood needs to Allegheny West, $5,000, Historic Doge Development Corporation, $10,000, Northside Leadership Conference, $12,000, Spring Hills Civic League, $5,500, and Public Safety AEDs, $872.46. Bill number 2397, resolution further amending resolution number 549 by transferring $33,372.46 remaining within District 1 neighborhood needs to new projects and renaming existing projects. Bill number 2403, Resolution authorizing pursuant to Chapter 173 of the City Code, the naming of the soccer field in Riverview, Riverview Park as Ravenstall Field. Thank you, Councilwoman. You have a waiver as well? Yes, I do. A motion to waive all three bills. Uh, bills 2396, 2397, and 20, 2403, correct? Correct. Okay, thank you, Councilwoman. There's a motion, there's a second. All in favor? Aye. The bills will appear on tomorrow's standing committee agenda. Councilman Lavelle, Chair of Public Safety Services. No new papers, Madam President. Thank you, Councilman. Council, Councilman O'Connor, Chair of um, Intergovernmental Affairs. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman O'Connor presents Bill Number 2386, Resolution Authorizing a Corporation Agreement providing for the transfer of funds not to exceed $7,432,971 to the City Equipment Leasing Authority for the purchase and leasing of vehicles, equipment, and, and accessories for use by the City Department and authorities and to extend the corporation agreement to accommodate lease agreements for a seven to five year lease period to provide for vehicles for the Bureau of Fire. Bill number 2387. Resolution approving execution of a contract for disposition between the URA and the Housing Authority of the City of Pittsburgh for various lots in the 12th Ward of the City Council District Number 9, Choice Neighborhood Phase 3, Larimore and East Liberty. Bill Number 2388, Resolution approving execution of a contract for disposition between the URA and the Housing Authority of the City for sale of various lots in the 12th Ward Council District Number 9. Choice Neighborhoods, Phase 4, Laura Moore in the East Liberty. Thank you, Madam. Bill, one more. Oh, sorry. Bill one number more. 2389, sorry. resolution further amending and supplementing resolution number 855 by transferring the remaining of $162,694.25 from the completed Beachwood Boulevard Brown Hills Road project to the Bob O'Connor Golf Clubhouse. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Councilman, you have a waiver rule? Thank Eight. you, Madam President. Yeah, I'd like to waive the rules on 2386, 87, 88, and 89. Thank you, Councilman. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The bills will appear also on tomorrow's standing committee agenda. This could be a long meeting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Councilwoman Strasburg for, Berger for myself, uh, Councilwoman Teresa Kell Smith, the Chair of Public Works. Thank you. Councilwoman. Councilwoman Kell Smith presents 
Bill number 2390. Resolution authorizing the transfer by the city to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. Certain public right of way on certain property of the fourth ward in cooperation with PennDOT construction project. Bill number 2391. Resolution authorizing the acceptance by the city to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania from PennDOT of certain dedicated public right of way on certain property on the 15th ward of the city in cooperation with a PennDOT construction project. Bill number 2392, resolution providing for a contract for the design, repairs, maintenance, improvement, emergencies, and or the purchase of materials, equipment, and supplies in connection with the construction of the West Ohio Street Bridge Project and providing for a reimbursement agreement with PennDOT and necessary utilities and providing for the payment of the cost thereof not to exceed $7,703,986.30. Bill number 2393, resolution amending and supplementing resolution number 98, which authorized the mayor and the director of the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure to execute relevant agreements to, re to receive grant funding to support Washington Boulevard multi-module path construction to account for bid accepted that was higher than originally anticipated and for additional sources of funding not to exceed $741,249. Bill number 2394, resolution amending and supplementing resolution number 591, providing for an agreement and or contract for repairs, maintenance, and improvement emergencies or purchase of materials, equipment, supplies, and professional services in connection with the bike infrastructure program to account for bid accepted that was higher than originally anticipated and not to exceed $863,608. Bill number 2398, Resolution further amending resolution number 863, adopting and approving the 2019 capital budget in the 2019 CDBG program by amending various city council CDBG unspecified local option line items and authorizing a subsequent agreement for operation, administrative expenses, maintenance, purchase of equipment, and or rehabilitation of neighborhood facilities on behalf of the residents of the city. Thank you, Madam Clerk. And I there's a request from the administration to waive the rules of Rule 8 uh, for council uh, for all these bills. And I wouldn't be honest with you, I'm hesitant to do so because I was not even consulted about this. And I'd like to be, as a chair, I'd like to be asked in advance. But I'm afraid that if we don't do so, Madam Clerk, do we still have time? or No. no. So we have to, it, well, or they die, and maybe that would show everybody, uh, teach them a lesson but <laughs> that they have to make sure they, they work with council. Um, Councilwoman Strasburger, will you make the motion? Uh, motion to waive the rules, uh, waive rule eight for bills 2390, 2391, and 2392 at the request of the administration. Exactly. Okay, there's uh, also, apologies. There's, also, there's more. Uh, also waiving the rules of 2393, 2394, and 2398. Second. Thank you, Councilwoman. And there's a motion, there's a second. Uh, is there any discussion on the motion? Councilwoman Harris. Yes. Yeah, so uh, 2392, I'm going to abstain. That's the West Ohio Street Bridge, and there's lawsuits going on right now. Okay, Councilman. Um, could we make the motion then, or, and then on, or you just want to? I'll just abstain, okay, on, I'll abstain on, on that one. Okay, so we'll take a roll call vote. And I just want to say real quickly that tomorrow, if I have any concerns or council members have concerns, we're going to hold these bills, and if they die at the, before we get through them at the end of the year, that's uh, up to the administration to make sure that they're having conversations with the council members in advance. Because these are significant. These are not small projects going forward. I mean, talking about bridges and significant items here. And they definitely merit a conversation. Okay, so um, should we have a roll call vote, Councilman? We can take a voice vote? Okay. We have a, a and Councilwoman Harris will abstain. Okay. All in favor of the waiver of Rule 8 for these bills for tomorrow? <laughs> To appear on tomorrow's uh, standing agenda. Uh, Aye. Those opposed? Any abstentions? One Council. abstention on, I think it's Bill. Is, am I correct on that? 2392 for the West Ohio Street? Okay. 2392, I abstain. Okay. Thank you, Councilwoman. Thank you. And so the bills will appear on tomorrow's standing committee mm -hmm. agenda's meeting. Councilwoman Strasburger, Chair of Innovation, Performance, and Asset Management. Thank you, Madam President.
Councilwoman Strasburger presents Bill Number 2395, Resolution Authorizing the Mayor and the City Controller to countersign a warrant in favor of Motorola Solutions Inc. for the renewal of the annual maintenance and support agreement for Premier MDC server and client licenses and 24-7 technical support for public safety mobile wireless communication software at a sum not to exceed $46,280 chargeable and payable from the Department of Innovation and Performance. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, Councilwoman Strasburger, you have a waiver of Rule 8. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to waive Rule 8 on uh, Bill 2395 so that it appears on tomorrow's agenda. Thank you, Councilwoman. Do we have a motion? We have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pass it. Those opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, the bills will appear on tomorrow's Standing Committee agenda. Councilwoman, Councilman Krause, Chair of Hearings, um, myself for Councilman Krause, we have a communications from the URA, Madam Clerk. Yes. Sorry, thank you. Thank you. Council President Kraus presents Bill Number 2402, communication from Diamante Walker, Deputy Executive Director of URA, submitting the Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program 2019 Awards. Can we have a motion to receive and file? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Uh, the next order of business is reports for committee for final action. Councilman uh, Reverend Ricky Burgess, Committee on Finance and Law. Madam President. Thank you, Councilman. Yeah. Councilman Reverend Burgess presents Bill Number 2375, Report of the Committee on Finance and Law for December 4, 2019, with an affirmative recommendation. Bill Number 2303. Resolution amending resolution number 206, which authorized the mayor and the city solicitor to enter into a professional services agreement with Campbell, Durant, Beatty, Palumbo, and Miller for professional legal services and expert advice regarding labor matters by increasing the total cost from $220,000 to $305,000. Bill number 2330, resolution authorizing the issuance of a warrant in the amount of $33,000 to Jane DeSimone Esquire for arbitration services rendered in connection with Act 111 interest arbitration. Bill number 2333, resolution providing for the conveyance by the city certain property having been placed for sale for adjourning property owners in conjunction with the City of Pittsburgh side yard program item A through C, 846 finance, 1815 through 8 to 17 Laurie and 113 Elmont. Bill number 2354, resolution amending resolution number 211, authorizing the mayor through the Bureau of Neighborhood Empowerment to execute relevant agreements with neighborhood allies to implement the creation of financial empowerment centers within the city and further providing for the agreement and expenditures not to exceed $30,000. You have heard the reading and the title of the bills. Is there any discussion on the bills? Seeing no discussion, we'll now move on. You've heard the reading of the title of this. We'll now move on to for final action. All in favor of the passage of the bill will vote aye when their name is called. Those opposed will vote no. Will the clerk please call the roll? Reverend Burgess. Aye. Mr. Caulfield. Aye. Mrs. Harris. Aye. Mr. Lavelle. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. Mr. Strasburger. Aye. Mrs. Kel Smith, President Pro Tem. Aye. Aye. Seven, no, zero. Thank you. The bills having received the legally required number of votes have finally passed. Now we'll move on to Public Safety Services. Councilman Daniel Lavelle, Committee on Public Safety Services. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Lavelle presents Bill Number 2376, Report of the Committee on Public Safety Services for December 4th, 2019, with an affirmative recommendation. Bill number 2336, resolution authorizing the mayor and director of the Department of Public Safety on behalf of the city to enter into a grant agreement with the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration to receive the amount of $182,803. Thank you. You have heard the reading and the title of the bills. Is there any discussion on the bills? Seeing no discussion, the bills are now ready for final action. All in favor of the passage of the bills will vote aye when their name is, is called. Those opposed will vote no. Will the clerk please call the roll? 
Reverend Burgess. Aye. Mr. Coghill. Aye. Mrs. Harris. Aye. Mr. Lavelle. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. Ms. Strasberger. Aye. Mrs. Kel Smith, President Pro Tem. Aye. Aye. Seven, no zero. Thank you, Madam Clerk. The bills having received the legally required number of votes are finally passed. Councilwoman Teresa Kell Smith, uh, Committee on Public Works. Councilwoman Strasberger for myself. Councilwoman Teresa Smith. Thank you, Councilwoman. Councilwoman Kell Smith presents Bill Number 2377, Report of the Committee on Public Works for December 4, 2019, with an affirmative recommendation. Bill Number 2291. Ordinance amending the Pittsburgh Code of Ordinances at Title IV, Public pa Places and Property, Article I, Title IV, Public Places and Property, Article II, and Title V, Traffic, Article VII, to clarify the jurisdiction of the Director of the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure and to update language relative to the Department's maintenance of the use of the right-of-way, especially involving permits and fees. Bill number 2337. Solution, resolution granting unto CPROF partner LP, their successors and assign the privilege and license to construct and maintain at their own cost and expense an 88 entrance ramp in 419 South Craig Street in the 5th Ward, 6th Council District, Bill number 2338, resolution amending and supplementing resolution number 42, providing for a contract and or agreement in reference to the South Nagley Avenue Bridge to account for an increased project cost higher than originally anticipated, not to exceed $1,227,000. Thank you, Madam Clerk. You have heard the reading in the title of the bills. Is there any discussion on the bills? Thank you. Councilwoman Harris. Yes, I'll be abstaining on 2338. It's the same train. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Councilwoman. Thank you. Or there, or I should say. Any additional questions, comments? Okay. The bills are now ready for final action. The bills are now ready for final action. Um, all in favor of the passage of the bills will vote aye when their name is called. Those opposed will vote no. Will the clerk please call the roll? Reverend Burgess. Aye. Mr. Coghill. Aye. Mrs. Harris. Aye on all bills except for 2338. I'll abstain. Thank you, Councilman. Mr. Lavelle. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. Ms. Strasberger. Aye. Mrs. Kell Smith, President Pro Tem. Aye. On Bill 2338, I 6, one abstention. All other bills, I 7, no zero. Thank you, Madam Clerk. The bills, having received the legally required number of votes, are finally passed. We'll move on to Councilwoman Deb Gross, Committee on Land Use and Economic Development. Councilwoman Harris for Councilwoman Gross. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. Councilwoman Gross presents Bill Number 2379, Report of the Committee on Land Use and Economic Development for December 4, 2019, with an affirmative recommendation. Bill Number 2334, Resolution Requesting Authorization for the Mayor and Department of Permits, Licenses, and Inspections to enter into an agreement with a power consulting corporation to provide customer service and soft skill training to the department staff. The agreement is chargeable and payable from the following account in an amount not to exceed $35,750 for a one-year contract. Bill number 2335, resolution providing for an agreement with Farman Creative LLC to assist the city to plan and conduct a design workshop and produce a visually compelling suite of digital print materials to effectively communicate our neighborhood plan program and guide to the public and a variety of users and provide for the payment at a cost not to exceed $24,950. You've heard the reading in the title of the bills. Is there any discussion on the bills? Councilman Harris? No, no. no. Okay. Seeing no, no discussion, the bills are now ready for final action. All in favor of the passage will vote aye when their name is called. Those opposed will vote no. Will the clerk please call the roll? Reverend Burgess. Aye. Mr. Coffey. Aye. Mrs. Harris. Aye. Mr. Lavelle. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. Mrs. Strasberger. Aye. Mrs. Kell Smith, President Pro Tem. Aye. Aye. Seven, no zero. The bills having received the legally required number of votes is finally passed. Did I skip Councilman Harris? Yeah, we skipped Councilman Harris. I want to save you for last. No, no just okay. <laughs> the best for last. No, <laughs> Councilwoman okay. Harris, I apologize. <laughs> Councilwoman Harris, uh, 
Thank you, Madam President. Committee on HR. I don't know where I see it. Councilwoman Harris presents Bill Number 2378, Report of the Committee on Human Resources for December 4th, 2019, with an affirmative recommendation. Bill Number 2283, Resolution Authorizing the Mayor and Director of the Department of Human Resources and Civil Commission to enter into an agreement with UPMC Work Partners Life Solutions for services relating to the administration of the city's employee assistance program for a sum not to exceed $150,000 over three years. Bill number 2284, resolution authorizing the mayor and director of the Department of Human Resources and Civil Commission to enter into an agreement with Connect Your Care for services relating to the administration of the city's flexible spending account program for a sum not to exceed $23,100 over three years. Thank you. You have heard the reading and the title of the bills. Are there any discussion on the bills? Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, no further discussion, the bills are now ready for final action. All in favor of the passage of the bills will vote aye when their name is called. Those opposed will vote no. Will the clerk please call the roll. Reverend Burgess. Aye. Mr. Coghill. Aye. Mrs. Harris. Aye. Mr. Lavelle. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. Aye. Mrs. Strasburger. Aye. Mrs. Kel Smith, President Pro Tem. Aye. Aye. Seven, no zero. The bills having received the legally required number of votes has finally passed. Now we'll move on to Councilwoman Erica Strasburger for the Committee on Innovation, Performance, and Asset Management. Thank you, Councilwoman. Councilwoman Strasburger presents Bill Number 2380, Report of the Committee on Innovation, Performance, and Asset Management for December 4, 2019, with an affirmative recommendation. Bill number 2339, resolution amending and supplementing resolution 539, which authorized the mayor, the city clerk, and or director of the Department of Innovation and Performance to enter into a contract with Granicus Inc. in order to extend the contract an additional six months. Thank you. You have heard the reading and the title of the bills. Is there any discussion on the bills? Seeing no further discussion, the bill is now ready for final action. All in favor of the passage will vote aye when their name is called. Those opposed will vote no. Will the clerk please call the roll? Reverend Burgess. Aye. Mr. Coghill. Aye. Mrs. Harris. Aye. Mr. Lavelle. Aye. Mr. O'Connor. Aye. <clears throat> Ms. Strasburger. Aye. Mrs. Kell Smith, President Pro Tem. Aye. Aye. Seven, no, zero. Thank you. The bill, having received the legally required number of votes, has finally passed. And now we will move on to motions and resolutions. Is there anything from Council? Wow. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I have a few meeting announcements um, for Council President Krause. This afternoon at 1.30 p.m., Council will meet for an executive session relative to litigation matters. Council Standing Committee's meeting is tomorrow morning, Wednesday, December 11th at 10 a.m. here in Council Chambers. And, the next, and next Tuesday, December 17th at 3.30, there will be a cable cast public hearing on Bill 2249 as it relates to zoning changes to 6320 Shakespeare Street. Can I have a motion to excuse the absent member, approve the minutes, and adjourn this meeting? So moved. Second. So second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The meeting's adjourned. Thank you, everyone.